Hi guys, it's Ben here. Hope you are all doing very well indeed. It's time to preview another game for the Reds this time. It's Wembley Stadium for Liverpool as we take on Tottenham Hotspur in the Premier League. It's not going to be an easy one this, of course. They've just come back from Madrid where they drew with the European champions. They've been a force to be reckoned with all season already. Yes, they're not quite at the Manchester club's level, but they've been a bit better than us. Harry Kane's firing. Um, everyone's clicking behind them. Eriksen is playing well. Ali's obviously on fire as he always is. Defence looks pretty solid. Davinson Sanchez looks like a great signing. So I think they're going to be another force this season. And it's never an easy place to go. Yes, we made light work of them a few years ago when we nearly won the league. We beat them 5-0 there when they had AVB. Then beat them 3-0 the following season. But uh, they're always tricky customers. Um, everyone struggled to beat them at home last, uh, at Wild Lane last season. We were one of only two teams to take any points from them at all uh, at their home then. And we should have won that game. But that's another story. Uh, I thought we played well that day. And uh, look, we generally do play well against them in the last sort of three or four years. Before that, we struggled. I remember them beating us 4-0 one year when Adam and Skirl got sent off. I think, think they beat us 2-1 the following year. Uh, and look, they are just an absolute nightmare to play against. Defensively so solid. Uh, that midfield's got so much creativity in it. When they get Eriksen and Ali on the ball, so much happens. They've got some pace out wide as well. Son's a tricky player. Um, Sissoko, if he, if he plays, you know, yes, he's not the most technically gifted player, but he's got power, he's got pace. Uh, but I don't know how they're going to line up. They might line up with three at the back, they might line up four at the back. I think that the Bernabeu, they play with a tongue on as the left back and play with a flat back four. I think they might do the same here, um, which means that Aurier might play on the right hand side. Um, but we'll see. Pochettino is obviously a very shrewd manager. He'll have thought about this. He'll have weighed up how to play against a team like us because we, of course, as we saw the other night, are not easy to play against either. Um, as far as our team is concerned, I wouldn't want to change an awful lot from Tuesday. I want to keep that momentum going. I mean, we scored seven goals. A lot of people calling for James Milner to stay in the side. Whether Klopp will do that, I do doubt it. Um, and it's unfortunate for Milner. Like, as, as, as well as he does every single time he plays, uh, something about Klopp, it, it just doesn't seem to want to play him, especially in a midfield three that needs to be so dynamic. And against Spurs, it's going to need to be dynamic. It's going to need to be full of energy, uh, which I don't doubt that Milner's got. But look, some people just don't seem to want to trust him in that role. Klopp, obviously being the most important man, doesn't seem to want to trust him in that role in such a big game. Um, I think Milner's only started a couple of games in that position this season. So I think we will see the Henderson, Chan, Wijnaldum trio that some people don't seem to like. Um, Elsewhere, you know, if we're going to do the rest of my 11, I think Mignolet, obviously, um, Gomez to come back in, Matip, Lovren, Moreno, and then the, the Salah, Firmino, Coutinho front three. I think that's going to be the 11, pretty predictable. Um, you can't complain with the front three. The way they all played the other night was remarkable. Salah was absolutely on fire, you know, among our best players again. Coutinho, of course, magic. Big Wembley pitch are going to be great for him. A lot of space in behind for the likes of Firmino, who moves so well and is always so clever with his runs, and Salah with that, with that absolute bags of pace. Moreno on the overlap. We're going to have room to play. It's just whether we can be smart, manage it. Um, look, the way we started against Man City away, the other tough away game we've had this season, was, was promising. I mean, Spurs aren't going to give us as much space, so they're going to be a bit more smart in their defending. They've got a better defence than Man City, full stop. Um, so I wouldn't expect that much joy, wouldn't expect that many chances. Um, and if we are going to get chances, we're going to have to be clinical. I mean, it's, it's a very obvious statement, but it's been our biggest downfall in those games. I mean, against Man City, we should have gone one nil up early. We sh it should never have got to the point where we won the down and Mane gets sent off. It should never get to that. We should be. We should have finished them off at what you know, ten, fifteen minutes into that game. Salah got in behind once or twice. Um, there a couple of players had chances. So I want to get. If we're going to get in those positions again, which is going to be few and far between at Wembley, uh, then we have to be clinical. Uh, we were the other night. We didn't have that many clear cut chances against Maribor in terms of chances missed. Probably had about. How many shots on target was it? About 13. So to score half of our shots on target or, or there or thereabouts is, is, is impressive. Um, and of the clear cut chances, we, we took we took probably seven out of, I don't know, ten. So that was a step in the right direction and it was a battering that had been coming. Um, look, if, if we can just go there, look, would a point be good? Yeah, a point would be okay. But the fact that we could only pick up a point against United, the fact that we couldn't beat Burnley or Newcastle, um, a point wouldn't delight us, dependent on the circumstances, of course. But, you know, if we come out of there with a nil-nil and it's been quite cagey and even, I'm not sure how, how satisfying that would be. I know Spurs obviously a tough place to go, but a lot of teams have gone there and got a point this season already. Or a couple have, anyway, and likes of Swansea and Burnley have even managed it. So, 
it, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't set us you know it wouldn't set us on for for a, for a great week if uh, after that if, if we could only get a point so have we got the capability to, capability to go there and win I think we do um, of course we do we we, we live but we got a great we got great attacking prowess. Um, have we got defensive knack? Have we got defensive nouse to see them off? With the, I mean, Harry Kane, the most, one of the most lethal strikers in the league. I'm not convinced. Obviously, we kept Lukaku quiet uh, at Anfield the other day and you know looked, looked very assured against Maribor. So, look, that Lovren Matic partnership that isn't actually that bad when they start together in terms of uh, games lost. We don't lose that many games when it is those two. Um, they make a big mistake between them at Newcastle. You know, despite on paper the, the good record that they've got, I'm still not convinced they've got it in them to go to a place like Wembley to take on a team like Spurs and a striker like Kane and the guys like Eriksen and Ali and Son who are going to be making runs left, right and centre and picking out the perfect passes. It's very similar to us um, in, in various ways. This is a big test for them, big test for Joe Gomez as well and Moreno who's going to need to play maturely. Um, it's an exciting one. It's a really intriguing, exciting one. I mean, look, I'm a lot more upbeat. A part of that's because I'm not lit with tonsillitis as I was a few days ago. But I'm a lot more upbeat. Obviously, the seven 0 win does that to you. You know, watch your team win seven 0 away in Europe. That, it will do that to you. Um, I'm not going to change my mind on the fact that I don't think we're going to be in the title race. Um, I think Spurs might just hang on in, in there a little bit longer than us this season. But ultimately, it'll be between United and City, unfortunately. Um, this is still an intriguing game regardless, just, just to sort of know where we stand. Have we come through that little rough patch? Was that just a rough patch? We've come out the other side after the international break. We've got an OK point against United, although we should have won. This has to be a good performance and we deserve to win. Can't afford another draw in which we should have won, because that was the case at Newcastle, probably the case against Burnley. We can't keep doing that. We need to turn these draws into wins, just like we did on Tuesday. And that's all I've got to say on the matter. Um, in terms of a prediction, can we win? Yes. Will we win? Do you know what? I can't see past the draw. And I think I think both sets of fans will ultimately, I think both sets of fans might feel this way as well. Look, I mean, they were very impressive against Real Madrid. I didn't watch the games. I was watching us, of course. But, you know, from what you see, you know, they, they, they took the lead out there. took a penalty to, to, to level it up for Madrid. So, you know, Spurs are in good form themselves. They're a great side. I love Christian Eriksen. I love Deli Alli. Kane's absolutely world class as far as I'm concerned. They've got a great defence. They are a staggering football team, one that's only going to get better. And they would be serious, serious title contenders. Worst City, not so impressive. Where United, not absolutely riddled with firepower. So... They're, they're an elite side. We're a very good side getting towards them, just not quite defensively good enough to be on a par with them in some regards. Um, but, I th you know, I, I predicted us to finish above them, so I can't say they're that much better than us. So let's just see what happens. I'm going to say we're going to draw one all. Um, I think Harry Kane's going to score for them. I'm going to pick Coutinho to score for us. I think we're, we're, he's going to be quite a second half for us, Coutinho, maybe from a... A set piece or a piece of magic. It's going to be a tight one. I'm not expecting tons and tons of goals um, because we're going to, both going to be very wary of the threats that each side poses. Um, you know, I think they're going to be more wary of us in, in terms of our attack than we are of theirs. But you know, their defence is more equipped to deal with us than we are of theirs. So it's going to be very even, very tight, very exciting. I'm not sure whether I'm going yet. We're going to have to see in the time. But I hope you enjoy the game. Please do leave a comment with your predictions, your thoughts on the scoreline, the scorers, and the lineup. And follow my other socials too. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, particularly Instagram, because I'm doing a big giveaway on Instagram at the moment. So you can win uh, the new Predators just by following me on Instagram, Ben Might Say. So there you go, what an opportunity that is. Go and do it right now, and I will see you after the game up the Reds.